Willie, Willie Farkas, Farkas yeah. the, uh, the Wolfman, and Dave, the Bear Man, the Canadian Wild Man. They were all they were tag teams a lot. Uh, it was and, and they used to argue like crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, Willie has his accent that you can. Yeah. He's been in this country, I guarantee you, for 40 years. You still can't understand, can't understand what the understand hell he's saying. But it's fun. The good money test time, maybe, maybe 10 grand test time, six grand salary. Take it, take it, turn it to a something like that. 350 days a year as a wrestler on the road. Maybe it's a sickness. 350 days a year. A lot of physical pain. A lot of loneliness. But you have no home life whatsoever. Piper and me riding down the road, doing eight balls of cocaine. I'm sure it broke up marriages. How many guys uh, in the wrestling business have a family left when they're done? Most of them lose it. I couldn't have children. I couldn't put them on a turnbuckle while mommy worked. I hit the bars, and that was my character. Sitting in a room with a bunch of wrestlers doing cocaine, we really got to know each other. I would take a lot of downers, and uh, I, I did have problems with the, with the downers. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I was not a faithful husband from the first day, for the whole time, on the road. I lived a double life. I needed it. It was like, I'm not getting the love I needed home. Would I do, oh, would I do, oh my God, I'm afraid to say I would do it again. I wouldn't change it then. No regrets. Well, I want to tell you, you know, to make some big money in wrestling, you had to wrestle every night of the week, $30 every day. So you had to wrestle six and seven times every week just to earn your money. 350 days on the road with wrestlers, a living hell. <laughs>